that I think it's time to visit the pumpkin patch. If you're looking to amp up your carving skills, our friends James Fraser and Joe Milana from Pumpkins After Dark have a few tricks up their sleeves and they're sharing them with us right now. Hi, I'm James and this is Joe. Today we're gonna to show you how to do jack-o-lantern carvings as well as some pumpkin sculptures. But the first thing you're gonna need is a quality pumpkin. Look at the bottom and press. If you can press and there's no soft spots on the bottom and no soft spots on the top, you've probably got a pumpkin that's gonna last the maximum amount of time. The difference uh, between a jack-o-lantern and a sculpture is uh, the jack-o-lantern is hollowed out and lit from the inside whereas the sculpture is lit from the outside and it's never hollowed out. Very often we get asked, what are the tools that are best to carve pumpkins, jack-o-lanterns, or make sculptures? So simple tools like this are amazing. You can buy them at any hardware store. You get a, a regular um, drywall knife and you can easily cut into your pumpkin. Use this little tool to gut it and get all your seeds out and put them in the oven and make some pumpkin seeds. In the absence of a fancy tool like Joe <laughs> tends to use, I tend to use the traditional scoop. Yeah. So I like to get in there and actually hollow it out. So don't think you have to have all the fancy tools to do this job. Next, there's millions of uh, jack-o-lantern templates. Go online, draw it on cardboard and cut it out and put it on your pumpkin. Or you can do what I did here, which is print it out. And got, I just got some parchment paper and traced it and then taped it to the pumpkin. If you want your pumpkin to last, you have to use larger shapes. The ones that you see here in the background, they're really fine detail, and these are the ones that you would carve Halloween night. If you want it to last longer, use bigger, blockier shapes, triangle noses and that kind of thing. And the other thing we do is use a 20 to one mixture of bleach to water and give the pumpkin a little spray every night and that will keep it from going moldy. For the sculptures, you're gonna need a little bit more complicated tools and I'll let Joe talk about those. So you want to choose a pumpkin that's oblong for your sculpture, but you see how it's kind of squished here, right? You wanna start carving on this side or this side because that's where all the thick meat is. This giant loop is used to carve the surface of the skin of the pumpkin away so you could get to the flesh. So if I don't have one of these artist loops at home, can I just use my potato peeler? Uh, that would be a no. So after you scrape it all away and you get your basic design, you simply go in with, with this tool and you kind of block out your eyes, your mouth, and then you start getting deeper and deeper using your uh, um, paring knife. And you get in there and you kind of just create these crevices. Get a light. You can simply buy this at a hardware store. It's just a light with a clamp. You put in a LED bulb and you clamp it to the peduncle, as we call it, or the stem, and you shine it down onto the face so it creates all these dramatic shadows. You can dress up your pumpkin by getting a few uh, barbecue skewers. So you just kind of make a hole there, make a hole here, jam that in there. Jam that in there, and voila! And the good things is, the horns won't rot. We now know how to make jack-o'-lanterns and little sculptures. What kind of tools do you use to make these massive 20-foot sculptures you see here? Well, we use a variety of uh, power tools, Dremel, uh, die grinders, to uh, dental tools for the fine work, uh, but we do not use chainsaws. Uh, we're working completely in the dark. Uh, because we have to see uh, the light coming out of the pumpkin. And Tracy, just for you, we wanted to make something special. So here it is. And let's check it out and see what it looks like in the dark. What do you think of the resemblance? Ooh, pretty good, everyone. I'd say, I think they nailed it. Uh, I have to maybe go visit the dentist looking at those teeth, though. I love it. Great work. Make sure to check out Pumpkins After Dark. That's in Milton, Ontario and in Calgary, Alberta. So they're raising money for a great cause. Please do support them. Go to cityline.tv for more information on that.